Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. In the last part, we did the big wrap-up quest for the roll quests. And, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Now we are on to the Easter event for 2022. I can't remember if I did this last year. I'm not sure when, what the first event I did for this whole playthrough was. It might have been, might have been this one, or it might have been the one after this one. I don't remember. But we'll see in just a second. So, uh, let's do it. <clears throat> a happy hatching tie to you, friend. Are you exquisite? Are the exquisite directions you see about, about you, about, about you to your liking? Wait, another face? It isn't Sensula. What a pleasure to see you. Okay, so I, that's, uh, that means I did this last year. As it happens, I was visited by a most curious dream game this year. In it, brave adventurers, not unlike yourself, were going about town, handing out decorative eggs in the company of the chickens and odd-looking rabbits. Truth be told, I have struggled to grasp its true meaning. Still, if the past is any guide, guide, the best way to get to the bottom of this is for us to recreate the image from my dream and see what good fortune it may bring. To that end, I've invested in Master Pollen, a Limpsilimens' preeminent chicken farmer, and his flock here to Gridania. And furthermore, placed an order for a full fluffle of rabbit-esque mammoths assemble resembling the ones from my dreams. We have, however, hit a bit of a snag. It, was, it would appear that the hens have not yet gotten acclimated to the new, the new environment, and they've been raising quite the ruckus, making it an eye impossible to treat the eggs they've laid. Maybe we willing to lend a hand? Sure, that sounds exciting! Now that's a woman after my own heart! You'll be compensated handsomely for... And speg spectacular rewards, of course. Mm, that one perhaps needs some work. In any case, Master Pollen's chickens are being cooped up at the Great Loom Growery. Might I ask you to travel there and give them a look? My friend Nonota Nonota works there as well, so I sh would be most grateful if you could also ensure that she's not overly harried. Okay, and I'm I'm thinking I'm starting to remember this from last year. This was actually the first um. Yeah, I remember now. This is the this was the last year was the first time uh, we had this little new area to Britannia that uh, normally we will not we that you don't typically have access to this area over here. Hmm. Oh, I. <gasps> I remember you. Forgive me. I'm feeling terribly exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Clearly. July sent you sent you to help. Well, that was most appreciated. In that case, allow me to explain. Chicken's gone mad. Well, uh, well, it's true that we've been having trouble grinding up all the eggs. We also been facing a more pressing concern. The gory has been invaded by bizarre, fluffy creatures. Uh oh. What's more, they're not content to just run around making mischief. They're why they're tormenting the chickens and trying to steal the eggs themselves. Needless to say, that was only driven the chickens into even more of a tizzy. It's been a veritable battlefield. Master Pollen is doing all he can to keep the creatures contained, but even he seems to be at its, at its wit's end. Uh oh. <laughs> Master Pollen! Has our last line of defense been breached? Oh, the poor man. Uh. Uh oh. Oh, it's an angry chicken! And a rabbit. He gets, that's one of them. Our fearsome invaders from the gods know where. Good heavens, they both look like they're, they're out for blood. What are we to do? Don't ask me, Trot's trying to calm him down. Such bravery. I thought I expected any lesser from you. In that case, good luck out there. And remember, close observation from both parties is the key to a successful mediation. All right. Too difficult. Drawing upon your extensive experience in confronting myriad savage beasts, you gaze upon the two bloodthirsty creatures intently, and taking in their every move and facial expression. It's a chicken and a rabbit. <laughs> the greatest obstacle ever. The chicken had the bun and the bunny stand at odds, needed willing to give their ill and their grudge match. Or so you assess the situation. Hmm. 
Oh, fascinating. The chicken is understandably on its guard, fearing that the rat was targeting its eggs. But could it be that the bunny, too, harbors some resentment of its own? Now that I think about it, this creature bears a almost un uncanny resemblance to the rabbit's j j j July described from her dream. I did some research on my own before you arrived. According to the tomes, it's so rare a creature that many consider it simply a myth. Have you by any chance encountered anything similar during your travels? Uh, now that you mention it. You don't say! I would have expected nothing less from a world traveled adventure such as yourself. No doubt you're already aware, but these most unique creatures are known are known in certain parts as happy bunnies. There's something about their long ears, fluffy tails, and hip hoppity manner that brings a smile to one's face, yes? My legend has it that simply encountering one is a sure sign that good fortune is headed your way. While they're not precisely the same creature, perhaps our most unique guests will have, uh, have also a similarly auspicious, auspicious effect on us? I don't know. You there, Mr. Bonnie, if you are truly as happy as, as at heart as your compatriots of legend, why you not take peace, make peace with these f fine chickens and cooperate with, with us to make this year's festivities an extravaganza of merriment and good cheer? Uh, I don't know what that means. Sorry about that, I hit a bit of a snag in my recording. Uh, you didn't really miss much, the chicken and the, the bunny ran off. But this won't do. Why, our harbinger of fat happiness is fleeing from our very grasp, and our last chicken is running off with it. Something must be done. Jul July's dreams are to be trusted, and I never know them to be anything but. Those bunnies are their unique power, the key to making this year's heart hatching time to festivities a rousing success. I beg of you, friend, and follow this creature, cure those creatures. They may lead you to their fellow SCAPs. I'll do the same just as soon as I see to Master Pollen's wounds. Well, shit. I wasn't able to make out where they were headed, but no doubt there was an eyewitness or two nearby. Before I gather what information you can, and round up the little critters as best you're able, we can rendezvous back in, the in town with July. Alright, great. Wonderful. Fine. Where are we going? Hmm. <laughs> These kinds of events are always interesting. Especially last year's with this whole growery thing. Well, that was a sight I've never seen. If I've ever seen one. Bizarre looking bunnies and chickens racing by me as if possessed. They were headed over that way, toward New Gridania. I can only hope they don't cause too much of a stir in town. Oh boy. Let's head on over. I'm going wrong way. I'm still going wrong way. You know what? Not ready yet? Bullshit. Gotta go this way. All right, where am I? Wow, well, let's wait way, way down then. They're gonna leave the city. No, I'm going the wrong way again. God damn it. Hey man, chicken the rabbits. They're headed for the Ether Plaza. Go after them if you like. The hours won't pay. Don't pay nearly enough for me to get mixed up in all this. Huh. I mean, I feel you. I feel you, guy. That was a waste. Chicken the rabbits? Oh, I saw a whole army of them running up to the car on canopy. Alright, what's going on down here? Hey. Mr. Bunny Man, these things, these cut these these costumes always give me the creeps. How they get around so fast on those tiny legs? I'm not cut out for this. Where'd they go. What's that? They're where they're where now? Good gods! 
Understood, I'll miss the services when I'll be able to venture right away. Matron's teats! Don't sneak up on me like that! Wait a moment. Are you by chance an adventurer? Yes. Nanada sent you in search of the bunnies, you say? How fortuitous! That link probe that you called you just now was from her. She's tasked me with doing the same, the very same. Just between you and me, however, I've yet to catch a single one. So I was run running after them, their friends started showing up one after the next, and before I knew it, a veritable legion of them had hip hippity hopped their way into the Twelves Wood. I fear there's far too many of them out for one to the two of us to handle alone. I'll go and call for reinforcements. Can I show you to go on ahead to the mirror planks? According to Nanota, that's where they were last sighted. In the meantime, I'll do my best to rally the others to our cause. Now go! Quickly, quickly, my friend! The fate of this year's hatching tide hangs in the balance! Oh god. Ah, the fate happiness as a warm bunny. Okay, good. Let's go find this. Let's go find this fate. Ugh. All right, where am I going? Oh, sadly, it's not up. Maybe it'll be up by the time we get there. Otherwise, I got some waiting to do. I hope it's gonna be up by the time we get over there. That'd be nice. Otherwise, I'll be cutting out like at least a couple minutes of idle of idleness, of standing around doing nothing. The fate that I want. Huh? Oh yes, happy days! I don't have to wait at all. <sighs> Look at all the rabbits and the chickens. All right, what am I doing? Oh. What I'm doing here. Damn, they're so fast. Chaotic event, that's the damn sure. Can cat rabbit to save my life. I don't think you can go for this. Oh, I did get gold. I feel like I wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> Alright, my pretty Zach's the coop, we go! I don't think I was even. I didn't feel like I was even doing anything, to be honest with you. I was just swinging the net around, hoping to prank. Hey, lass. Got your chickens and your rabbits. Oh, Sessa, say no more. I've heard everything. My sincere apologies for the trouble you had to put you through, but let us suffice to say your efforts have all but saved this year's hatching tide from disaster. Some stragglers are still running about, but we've captured the better part of, the, of both flocks. Noda, Master Pollen, my colleagues should be able to round up the rest in due time. But there's even more good news. It seems the exercise has been a long way to soothe our savage chickens, and we've retrieved the eggs in, a, in abundance to decorate. Why are you not dressed at all, sir? On oh, the note on Master Pollen, allow me to thank you for your efforts as well. I still just just sharing the happy tidings with Cecily here. 
wait, is this perchance one of the happy bunnies that were the source of this whole hullabaloo? Why, they, they truly are the spinning image of the little critters that came to me in my vision. Seeing how common well behaved it is now, I can scarcely believe it gave you such trouble. Your other chickens are resting easy now, I gather. No worries there, J July, my dear. My birds have spent all their nervous energy, spent up all their nervous energy, and they are as relaxed now as I've ever seen them. Why, after the little spat, it even seems they have come to a mutual understanding with their fluffy new friends. Oh, okay, I guess it worked out. I'm happy to say that the rabbits too are now being our attendance to scarcely a peep of argument. And wouldn't you know it, just before, one of them handed me us this crystal. Could it be? Why, they are, truly are the harbingers of happiness and good fortune. Rabbits, I have a good feeling about this, Tesla. We'll come back later so I can fill you one of the details, yes? Needless to say, I'll have a special something for you as a token of thanks for your services. As for now, I must prepare for the festivities. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to lead these little fellows to the streets and join them in handing out eggs to the townspeople. When dreams are any guy, I'm sure it'll bring a no end to smiles. To, uh, no end to smiles, though? Oh, okay. I please skip what she said. Oh, real eager. Let's, that's what I like to see. And with that, I best be putting the final decorative touches on these eggs. And whenever you're ready, just say the word. Alright, you do that. Maybe this guy can get some clothes on. So they start handing out some eggs? Lovely in that case. Here you go. Pray to take our little friends along and spread happiness the whole city over. Okay. Uh, let's start by the markets. Everyone's gonna do some shopping, so I'm gonna go to where everybody, go everybody goes. Hey, get some eggs. My former archer buddies. Hello! It's my former uh, conjurer teacher. Decorated egg? For me? How thoughtful! There's an intriguing side! Thank you ever so much! Here you go, guy. Your efforts are sincerely appreciated. These seasonal celebrations bring so much joy to the children. And myself, I confess. Still, I must say, it's been a year since I've seen a traveler, ra a traveler rabbit in the flesh. But we never would have expected to encounter one here. What's that? What's that? That nomenclature's, uh, that nomenclature's unfamiliar to you. Uh, in the north, they're known as... Kalakuli. What the fuck? What, what is that? As happy bunnies, are they not? I said to Ushin smiles and good fortune. Before that, yes, since much before, much since much older times, they are known as traveler rabbits. They have a habit of showing up at our side unannounced and then vanishing off somewhere before you know it. I recall seeing one in the twelves when I was but a child. Oh, interesting. Ah, for forgive me. You have other places you must be. We can talk another time. Pray relax and enjoy the festivities when your work is done. Just that, sir. All right, still got two more areas to go to. Can't just not go to the other areas.
Welcome back, Cecil. How did you and your little friends fare? I've got some... I got some takers. Splendid to hear! At first, I feared that my dreams might only bring, only bring only chaos and confusion to the realm this year, but thanks to you, I do believe we can declare this year's egg hunt a rousing success. Oh, but how could I forget? In recognition of your tireless efforts on our behalf, my fellow dreamers and I have prepared a very special hatch and tide present for just for you. Oh, what is it? You need to give me. My reward! The mount? Oh. Did I mention how, how I procured mammoths and goldsmith guild for the festivities? This is one of them. That lady was completely lifeless in the moment of arrival. It seems its core had come loose and fallen out on the way here. But would you believe it? It's, I slipped in that crystal a little bit and gave me then an instant. Its tail popped up and, wire, and, and it weird, weird back to, or weird wired back to life. I'm quite confident I'll bring its take care taker nothing but good fortune and smiles galore. Now I'm very much like that person by you, Cecila. Thank you for the thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Now that all the hard work is done, I do hope you'll catch chance have the chance to relax and enjoy the festivities for yourself. They've only just begun, after all. And should you find yourself in the mood to help us out with handing out some more eggs, simply say the word. Okay. I still got two more errors I gotta hand out eggs yet, so I'll do that. I said in the last uh holiday video, I was try I'm gonna try to do at least one or uh, a couple of the re of the uh, repeatables. Especially since if, if, there's, if I'm gonna get different bits of dialogue. Okay. Happy hunting! Before I do that. Uh, what other stuff can we get besides the, the minion? Where? Is it you? No, it's not you. Let's be the person in there. Let's be you! Et. An egg a day! We get an emote on how to eat an egg. Huh. Ooh, cool. I don't, don't really care for housing, so I don't think I'll go for those, to be honest with you. Nice though. I'd, I'd have to go back and do that fate anyway. Nah, I'm not gonna do that right now. But I got a minion, and I got an emote. Egg. Eat egg. All right. Uh, where is the repeatable? Uh, where, where is the repeatable? Huh? Can I play the gift giving task? If you help me, oh wow, I got more places to go to. Mm. 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 All right. Botanist Guild. Hey man, here we go. Have an egg. My former Lancer teacher. I just said the world used to fa what used to fashion those decorations was among the finest I've ever laid eyes on. Always have, as always, your eye for quality timber is simply unparalleled. You're far too kind, Master Bent. I mean, my forest-loving, floppy-eared friend. Likewise, I have no doubt that would rejoice to find itself in the hands of one who stands it as well as you. Is this the fucking carpenter gill? The carpenter guy? And, uh... And, uh, the, and, uh, the botanist lady? Ha! Huh? What's going on here? Oh, then that's all how good it is to see you well. Give me your eggs. An egg for me. 
I want to charm a little fellow, little, little fellow carrying it. I accept your gift with gratitude. How very clever of you. How clever, oh yeah, how very clever you are, though I did hear rumors of some, uh, some, some concern. Yes, the little birds when their creatures bearing no small resemblance to you are running, running, running wild to the streets of Gridania and trampling our precious greenery. And nibbling at the bark of our precious trees. The most, the most disconcerting story if there is any truth to it. <laughs> if that my intuition is not mistaken, it appears the little, the little creature, the creature is apologizing to us in his own way. <laughs> well, as long as you've learned your lesson, I don't believe you'll be forgive and forget. Thank you for the thoughtful gift and the happiest hatching times to you! Okay, guys, you can ditch the outfits. I know who you are. <laughs> your uh, tool is given away. At least I'm not the one around. It's like right here. Let's go to Nofika's altar. Hello, you two. Have some eggs. Connie Senna, or no, is that Connie Senna? Or is that, uh, is that, what's her name? Is that her sister? Greeting Cecil, it's always a pleasure to have you here in Gridania, and towards seeing you, you've befriended some rather charming little helpers. Uh, is that, I can't tell if that's Connie Senna or, uh, if that's her sister. Why, what a lovely egg, how very kind of you. And there's always a twosome looking little cake inside, too! Don't just do stop by the canopy when you finish here. I have a brood that will accompany you perfectly. Okay, so that's the mother. Mother Mione. I should enjoy that indeed. And I'm sure you're Connie. Yeah, that must be her, or that must be her bodyguard. Seth, on behalf of all Gordon, allow me to thank you all and your little colleagues for making this your attention to so memorable! Once your work is concluded, I hope you'll have time to relax and take in the chair of the season. Okay. You and your new friends are welcome to stop by for a cup as well. Should this mood strike you? Though I dare say you ought to claim our table sooner than rather than later. These sweets will dry, draw adventures up by the droves. Okay. Maybe. I'll think about it. I will think about it. <sighs> Alright. So this is a really repeatable quest. It's just inter it's interesting. So do they change if I should go to a different if I go to the same place I've been to before? I'll go through these two, then I'll go and I'll try the markets again see if I find any, find anybody different. Hello my leather working friends. I don't know who you are though. I don't remember you in the pink. Oh, it's these bigs and wedge. What are you two up to? Well, if it's incessant, I fancy meeting you in a place like this. Got some eggs. Eggs for everyone! What do we have here? A decorative egg with a tasty treat inside? Ha! Ah. Thanks, little fellow. Don't mind if I do. Aren't you a cute one? And your fur is so soft and fluffy. Thank you kindly, Cecila. Perhaps you're one wondering what we're doing here. Nothing so it's nothing so exciting, I'm afraid. Just performing routine maintenance on the airships. Normally we send out a new recruit, so Wedge here insisted we volunteer for the task ourselves. Stay home and Miss Gridani's famous hatch and tide egg hunts? Perish the thought. <laughs> Speaking of which, just who are these little critters anyway? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? It's a long story. Whoa, so these are the happy bunnies rumored to lead those who they favor to happiness and good fortune? 
What's that, little friend? Happen to us that way? Come on, dearest Tatar will be here for the festivities too? Let's go with her at once! Uh, it's kind of a wild interpretation. Uh, oh, damn it, why'd you come back here? Fool of a lava fell. I best run him up so he can start the repairs he volunteered us for. Anyway, well, thanks for the treats. I look forward to enjoying them with a cup of tea when our work is done. Till next time, Sassila. Huh. <laughs> Better catch up. Better get running, boy. So does something happen if I go to all the all the places? They're not right. Uh, let's go to Apkalu Falls. Hello, my former summoner teacher. What's that? Is that a... Oh no, it's a Rianger! What the f... <laughs> Can't hide from me, Rianger! Tis an unexpected yet, but it's him. Tis an unexpected pleasure to meet, meet thee here, my friend. <laughs> Arianger? Why, Cecila, however, didst thou know what t'was I? Thou may have my present com company for the uh, hint or two. That's and the way you talk. Ah, Cecil's found us! I was an expected reunion! Not that we're up to anything, mind you. We simply wanted to experience Ethereal's, Ethereus's famed seasonal celebrations. It's been an exemplary learning experience thus far, and I swear we haven't taken any samples for that that, that anyone will miss. To study such traditions is valuable indeed, for not reflecteth, reflecteth a culture more clearly than a half confide, confide, codified ritual guy can't, sometimes the way he talks, I just can't. Right tell, Cecila, who are thy charming companions? It's a rabbit, and it's a chicken. Have some eggs. For me? Why, thank you so much! I think. Is this a lemon muffin? No, the room was entirely different. Ornamental eggs and baked desserts. I see. Thou art lending thine aid just in spreading good cheer for the season. I am full glad to accept thy gifts. Pray forgive our haste, but my companions have much to see yet to see. A happy hatching tie to thee and thine. Thanks for the treat! Why I do believe I'll take it I'll try to bake a batch myself when I get back to my kitchen. Do we meet again, Cecila? Perhaps even purposely next time. Damn, <laughs> Rianger had the fucking bunny out from bunny hunt head. Oh man. <laughs> Lord. So what happens if I go to the place I've already been? Will I get the same people? Uh... So you two are the same. I assume I get the same people. Otherwise, the, the, the combination of peoples can be quite, quite large. Okay, now it's the same people. All right. Okay, that was an interesting event. Uh -huh. So yeah, that is the Hatching Tide event for 2022. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I can work on getting the rest of the items off on my own, my, on my own time. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next part. I'm not quite sure what that's gonna be. Um, yeah, I really don't know what the next part's gonna be, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's gonna be another event or um, if it's gonna be future patch stuff, because. Like I, like I mentioned in the last part, the next patch, 6.2, won't be coming out for another four months. So, uh, yeah, we got quite a little, quite a wait. Either the next video is going to be another, uh, event, an, uh, another event, or it might be the big uh, video where I incorporate all of the 
um, the new Beast Tribe quests whenever that comes out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and whatever the next part is, I will see you then. Later.